So hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today I'm going to show you how to download an urban build up index in Google Earth Engine and visualize an image in ArcGIS. So now let me explain about the urban build up index. So urban build up index is a quantitative measure used in remote sensing and geographic information system to assess the extent and the density of the urban build up areas within the given geographical region. It is derived from an analysis of the satellite or the aerial imagery using a technique called band ratio. So the formula for calculating an urban build-up index using band ratio is UVI is equal to band 7 divided by band 6. In this formula, the higher value of UVI indicates the higher density of the build-up structures, which are the characteristics of the urban areas. The lower value of UVI suggests that the presence of the natural features like uh, vegetations or water bodies. The UBA can be further categorized into different classes of zones to provide more detailed information about the urban environment. For instance, the low UBI value corresponds to a natural areas. The moderate UBI value indicates the transition zone or the suburban areas with a mix of natural and build-up features. The high UBI value represents a dense urban area with significant human-made structures. The UBI is derived from a band ratio analysis offers a quick and efficient way to quantitatively assess the urbanization and monitor the change in urban landscape over time. This information is uh, valuable for urban planning and environmental management, disaster response and various other applications that requires a comprehensive understanding of the urban growth and, and its impacts on environment. Now let me get back to uh, Earth Engine. So now we're going to calculate our urban build-up index. So to calculate an urban build-up index, we have to import a Lancet 8 imagery into Earth Engine. So to import a Lancet 8 image, we define a variable called L8 equals to double A dot image collection Landsat collection Lancet 8 collection 1 tire 1 top of the atmosphere. So to get the least, uh, least cloud contaminated image, we defined a variable called image 2020 equals to double A dot image. So here the L8 refers to our Lancet 8 dot filter bound refers to our study region. So we had defined a study region as a point. You can visualize the variable called point as a polygon with four vertices. So it is represented here. So you can visualize here. So now there is a study region. So there is a study region you can able to visualize here, which represents as the variable point. So next to filter with a specific timeline, we define dot filter date 2020 January 1 to 2020 December 21st. To get at least cloud contaminated image, we define the function called dot sort cloud cover and dot first function will give us a least cloud contaminated image. And to view the properties of the details of this uh, image, we define print image 2020 dot to flow float function. So we can visualize the details about this image using the specific code. So next to calculate our urban buildup index, we defined a variable called B7 equals to image 2020.select B7. So we are selecting band 7 from Lancet 8 image. And similarly, we defined a variable called B6 equals to image 2020.select B6. So we are selecting band 6 from Lancet 8 image. So now to compute our urban buildup index in uh, Earth Engine, we define an uh, algorithm that is equals to, that is variable called UBI2020 equals to B7 dot divide B6. So it is an algorithm as simple as easy, defined as a band 7 divided by band 6. And we can rename as the UBI rep represents urban buildup index. So now to display our result, we defined map.center object image 2020 with a zoom level of 9. So image 2020 refers to this, uh, this specific image variable called image 2020. The reservoir lands at 8 image. And we are specifying the zoom level of 9. So now we defined a variable called UBI params represents a visualization parameter for our UBI layer that is this specific layer. So we set a minimum value of minus 1 and to a maximum value of plus 1. And color palettes ranging from green, yellow, red and black. Here the black represents highest urban area and the green represents the least or the natural features and red represents a second level of second level classification of an urban areas. 
the high density urban areas are classified as a blind black color now to set a visualization for a parameter that is true color composite for Landsat 8 image, we define a variable called visparam true equals to the bands B4, B3 and B2. We set a minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of 3000 and we're going to set a gamma value around 1.4. So now to add this uh, urban buildup index to our earth engine, we define map.add layer UBI 2020. So here UBI 2020 represents this specific variable where we computed our urban buildup index. So to give us visualization parameter for this layer, we define UBI params. So we have previously defined the visualization parameter here and output the layer name as NBR image 2020. So now to add this layer that is our Landsat uh, 8 image into our earth engine, we define map.add layer image 2020 that is our Landsat 8 image and we given a visualization parameter for true color composite of a Landsat 8 image. He defined here the variable visparams true and output the layer name as Landsat 8 image. So now to export our uh, urban, uh, that is uh, urban buildup index to our Google Drive, that is export to our drive. So we define export to drive, that is export.image to dot drive. Image here represents UBI 2020 dot float function. So float function in order to export our image in our in a decimal place, we are using the specific function to that is dot to float function. So output the layer name as UBI image 2020 polygon and the spatial resolution is around 30 meters. And the region we are using is a point variable that is the polygon with four vertices. And we are setting a max pixel values around 10, 1 is to 10 power 13. So now to run this code, uh, that is to export our NBI, that is UBI image to our drive, we have to just click this option called run script. So now we can able to visualize this part of the Valancet 8 image, we classify that as an urban uh, buildup in index, this specific image, you can classify that, you can visualize that. This part of the study region has represented as black repre represents the highest urban areas that is represented in black color. And similarly, the second level classification of the urban area that is here you can able to visualize represented in the mild black color. It is a second level urban classification along with the natural features like a vegetation. The first level represents the highest urban density. So we can visualize in the two layers, we have our NBR image 2020 it represents our. So we can visualize here, we represent as UBI image 2020, that is our urban buildup index. So we can visualize the different classification. So let me select the satellite mode and now we can visualize it in more depth. So this is a uh, New York. So we can represent, we can visualize the darker region here represents the highest uh, urban area which is represented in the black tone. And similarly, you can visualize this part of the region where you can observe a mild black color you can be able to observe in this part of the region. It is second level of urban classification, which is represented with an urban area with some natural features like vegetation. So now let me export our urban buildups image to our Google Drive. So go to the task section and click this option called run. UBI image 2020 polygon, click this option called run. So a window has been popped up saying initiate an image export. So we have our coordinate reference system, spatial resolution. So to export this particular image to our drive, you have to click this option called run. So now in the task section, you can able to visualize that our UBI image is being exported to our Google Drive. So now we can able to take a look at this image. So now we can, uh, I will show you another option here. So we can visualize the different classification. Just go to the layer section and click this option called the setting symbol. So in that you can be able to visualize there is an option called custom and that select this option called custom stretch sigma three, three sigma and apply this. And now we can clearly able to visualize the different urban classification along with the different natural features that is, uh, uh, that is available in this region. The highest level of an urban area is indicated in this particular black color. And the second level of urban classifications are given in the red color. And the uh, non-urban areas are represented in the yellow color. And the water bodies are here represented in green color. 
is similar to the color which I have gave, given in our code. So here you can visualize the highest level is represented in black and the second level of urban is represented in red. The non-urban areas are represented in yellow and the water bodies and other natural vegetation are represented in green color. So this is how we can able to use the urban buildup index to identify the urban areas and with the two levels of classification, the highest density level, you can visualize high urban density as well as the low urban density along with a different natural features. So now we can visualize in the task section of a UBI image 2020 polygon has been exported to our Google Drive. So now let us uh, download that image and uh, visualize in ArcGIS environment. So now uh, click this option here. So now you can able to visualize here. You can click this option called open and drive. So now it's going to open in our drive. So you can able to visualize here UBI image. Just right click and click this option. Uh, right click and uh, click this option called download. So now the I'm going to save my image in this uh, location in my A drive. So UBI image 2020. So now the image has been downloaded here. So UBI image 2020. So now let me open ArcGIS. So now we are in ArcGIS uh, software. So to add our image, we had to click this option called add data. So now you can able to visualize there is an image called UBI image 2020 polygon. There is an urban buildup index. So now let me add this image. So now a new window has been popped up to create a permit for UBI. So now let me click, uh, click S. So now we can able to visualize the image has been uh, added into our ArcGIS. So now we can able to clearly visualize. So here you can able to visualize in this part of the section we have a high value of around 17.99 and the low value of around minus 13.39. So generally high positive value indicates the high urban density areas and the low power, low negative value here indicates the non-urban areas or the natural features like water bodies. So now let us give some color to this image. So click this option. So now you can choose your color for the specific image. So now let me select the color for this and click OK. So here you can visualize we have given a color for the urban areas are given in red color that is in green color and the non-urban areas are given in the red and yellow color. So now let me invert this color. So now it is uh, way more uh, good. So here the urban areas are indicated in red color. So let me zoom into this area. So you can visualize that the high urban areas are classified in red color. You can clearly able to visualize the roads in different, so the different uh, build up areas. And similarly, second level of urban areas are classified in, in a mild red color. So it is in uh, compared to this red, it is kind of mild, which is also a settlement, a second level urban area, but the high density urban areas are indicated in, in red color. And similarly, the non-urban uh, areas are represented in green color. Here the water bodies that is are represented in green color. And non-urban areas being also represented in yellow and green area in yellow and in green color. So you can clearly able to visualize the urban urban structure of this particular study region. It is New York. So you can visualize the roads and uh, buildups. So now let me get back to our earth engine. So now this is our earth engine. Uh, we are in our earth engine. So you can also change your study region just by clicking this particular polygon. So you can drag this polygon so anywhere to your point of your interest and you can download the urban areas of that specific region and visualize in our ArcGIS as well as in our earth engine. So you can just draw a polygon just by using this specific tool called uh, draw a rectangle and you can draw the rectangle over the any point of your study region and you can download and visualize this urban uh, build up index. So in this video, I have shown you how to download an urban buildup index in Earth Engine and visualize it in the ArcGIS. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.